What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Black Pino the Apple Guy and today I have another tutorial video. Uh, actually, this is the same video I made. I wouldn't say the same video, but it's I guess a revised version of a video I made either six months ago or a year ago and that is how to add funds to your iTunes account if you don't have a debit card to fund that. Now, I've had a lot of comments on my previous video on how to do this. And I think people were getting confused with that video on how you could do it one way versus doing it another way. So I thought that I would make just one more video to kind of clarify what you can and can't do with your iTunes funds in terms of how it works. So we're just gonna get into the tutorial now. So as you can see, you, uh, my picture of my iPhone on my Windows device, I'm actually using a program known as Reflector, which allows me to basically uh, airplay my phone to my Windows device. If you wanna know how that works, I'll drop a link in the description below if you wanna take a look at that picture. So as you can see, we're gonna to stroll to the App Store on my iPhone. And as you can see here, um, right here is the App Store headquarters. So this is basically the first thing you will see when you tap on the App Store. So as you can see, Uno is the first card, uh, the basically the first app that shows up. Now, as you can see, the app is free, but if you look under it, it says in-app purchases. So again, what does that mean? Well, we're gonna go into the app and I'm gonna show you exactly what that means. So as you can see, this is the app itself. When you scroll down to the bottom, now where it says in-app purchases, yes, here. Now the game itself is free. So if you are playing the basic game and that's all you need, then you don't have to worry about buying any in-app purchases for this game. But say there are things in this game that you wanna do beyond the free, such as you want to get 20 diamonds or 30 diamonds or 70 diamonds, that requires some sort of funds in order for you to actually add that to the game. So in order to do that, you have to do it one of two different ways. And I'm gonna show you the different ways and explain to you how they're different so that you don't get confused between the two. So we're gonna exit out of the app and then we're gonna go, now in the top corner of your app store, you're gonna have either a picture of yourself or initials of your name, however it is uh, displayed. So we're gonna tap on my name and as you can see, I already have $15 in credit. So I actually added $15 to this last night. So say I wanted to add $25 or say I want to add $25 credit to this or I wanted to have a balance of $25. That just means that I simply just have to add $10 to my credit and it'll be $25. So there again, there's two different ways of doing this. There is the, as you can see from the list below, under purchase and subscriptions, you've got redeemed by gift card or code, send gift card by email, which isn't actually a way of funding it, and then you have add funds to Apple ID. So the send gift card by email, basically what that means is that you can actually send an iTunes uh, iTunes gift card or App Store gift card or whatever it's called. You can actually send that as a gift card to someone else who has an Apple device. Now, again, this only works with people who have Apple devices, whether it's an, I, whether it's an iPad, an iPhone, a MacBook, or an iMac. As long as it's an Apple device, you send them whatever amount of uh, money you want to send in that app store gift card to whoever that email address is and they will be able to use that to fund subscriptions for whatever they want to buy or for in-app purchases for games now in terms of the other two ways redeem a gift card or code basically all that means is that you simply go to a grocery store or an electronic store or wherever who sells a app store card and when you redeem that because there was a code on the back, you simply tap on that. It will give you a picture of the camera. So you tap on this. And as you can see, redeem your gift card using your camera. You hit use camera or you enter in the code manually. Either way you do it, that's how you do it with the redeeming of your gift cards or code. So say you don't have a chance to get to the store to buy one of those or you're at home and you want to add money to your account then there's another way you can do it and that's called add funds to your Apple ID. But this way requires you again to have a debit card or credit card as your primary payment. So again, if you do not have a debit card or credit card, then this option you cannot use because there's no other way for you to fund. Apple doesn't let you do it via PayPal. They don't let you do it um, via any other way unless PayPal is your default payment. But again, that depends on how you have your payment set up for that. I can't really answer any questions like that when it comes to that. So if you add funds to your Apple ID, 
then you simply would tap on that and it brings you to this screen which as you can see here all of your apple at your fingertips these are just pre money determinations uh, or basically these are just kind of default uh, demon demonetizing ways of doing it so if you want $25 then you simply tap on $25 if you want $50 $50 and so off now if you don't want these predetermined amounts of money then you can do it a different way which is tapping on the other you simply tap on that and then you can add whatever amount you want so again say I want $25 but I've already got 15 then I simply just add ten dollars to this hit done hit next and then from here it's going to ask me to double click to confirm my payment now again I'm using Apple Pay and my default payment for my Apple Pay is my debit card so if you're doing it this way you have to have a form of payment in order for it to take out of in order for you to add funds to that if you don't have a debit card or credit card if you're not using PayPal if it doesn't give you the option to do any of that or you don't have any of those options then you cannot use this as an option to add funds to your account you can only do it with the app store cards that you get at the store or if you go to the apple store and you buy something like one of their app store cards but you can only do it that way if you don't have a default form of payment and a lot of people were getting confused between the two so again i will uh, iterate this one more time you cannot do this without a form of payment so as you can see as says apple pay that is because i am using my debit card as my form of payment if you're using a credit card then it would take the ten dollars out of your credit card or take it out of your debit card that's the only two ways you can do it there really isn't any other way for you to do it uh, i don't believe apple will actually set up a way of doing it but that is the only way you can do it and again if you can't do it this way then you would simply have to exit out and then cancel again you would go into your uh, account and then you would simply redeem a gift card or a code which again means you would have to go to a store buy a uh, gift card or an app store card or whatever it's called that is the only way that you can do that when you want to add funds to this and again once you add funds to this then you can use those funds until it runs out of zero and again if you don't have a debit card or credit card once that balance runs out to zero you have to go and buy another card so if you don't have a debit card or credit card i don't know if it'll work with a prepaid debit card or prepaid credit card you might be able to get away and doing it that way but that is literally the only way you can do that so uh, again i know a lot of people were getting confused between the two but again if you don't have a form of payment for it to take out of in order to add money to your account then you just simply can't do that um, this is how apple works in that way I wish I could give you any other information beyond that, but that's just basically how that works. So I hope this video was helpful. And again, if you have any um, comments at all, if you have any other questions, just drop a comment down below and I will be happy to answer that. But in terms of will this work on certain games, if I buy for this game or will it work, this in-app purchases will work for this game. Again, I can't answer yes or no on that because I don't have those games, so I don't play it. I'm assuming that if it says it's an in-app purchase, then yes, you can. But if it requires you to go to like a third party vendor, like I had to do with Roblox, then that's the only way you can do it. And then maybe when you go into the game, if it allows you to do it, inside the game then yes but beyond that i really can't answer those questions so i'm sorry if anyone has questions like that i'm afraid i can't answer that so i hope that this video was helpful if it was please give me a thumbs up and again my name is black apino the apple guy feel free to take a look at my other tutorials on how to for apple stuff and i will see you guys in the next video stay safe take care